I just, I just, I just want to see, I just want to see our societies strive to get better, um, strive to be uh, more just, to strive to be. Um, I, I, I want to see society in America uh, as diverse as it is, but accepting itself. You know, I, uh, I, 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 I am just tired of. Uh, social divisions. And I know you're not saying let's keep all of that. I know that's absolutely not where, where we're heading here. But um, I, uh, like I said, I, I welcome change. I, um, I, I, I think it's needed. I think it's needed now um, in, in many ways, not just with language. Um, and um, if it's not Latinx, then fine. But we need something. Uh, I know I do. Uh, I know that to um, address a group of people that uh, I don't know at first, I need I need a way to make everyone feel included. Um, and um, for as long as Latinx is the only resource that I'm given, I I just think it's it's great. Yeah, no, I, I hear that. I mean, I think my only kind of final thought on it is that I think. One of the one of the things about diversity is when you live in a big country, um, and we live in a country that believes in you know actual liberalism in the true sense of the word, and a liberal pluralism, people are going to have different opinions and they're going to have different ideas. And not I think that's people. wonderful. No, yeah, it, it is wonderful. <clears throat> but I think the I'm, I'm not saying you're doing this, but I, I know other people have done this. Is if people don't agree with it or they don't like it or for whatever reason, my hope is that the initial um, uh, assumption is that, well, you don't care about inclusion or you don't care about other groups of people or you're homophobic or you're transphobic. I think people can just say, hey, I just don't prefer the term or I don't prefer this or whatever. It has nothing to do with uh, the group of folks. Um, that's just how, how it makes sense in my mind. And, you know, I'm, maybe... That's just how it is for me and how it could be for someone else. And I think that we respect that diversity of, of thinking about things differently and, and trying to do that. Um, and I think also something that uh, on this issue, and I think maybe on other issues, is I think sometimes people will, you know, when people have their, their, their thing, their issue, they're really concerned and they care about, some people are gonna care about an issue at an 11. <clears throat> and some people are gonna care about it at a seven. And both people care about that same issue, both want the same kind of goals or outcomes in a certain sense, but just some people care about it more than others. It doesn't mean that, oh, well, if you don't care about it in the same way I do, you must not be for inclusion and and you know diversity and, and respect and equality. It's like, no, I, I care about it. Of course, I care about it. Um, I care about that issue that you do. I just don't care. I have another issue I care about at an 11. And I think sometimes we have to <clears throat> uh, wrestle with that and say, hey, okay, yeah, you're just not there. If someone doesn't care about climate change at an 11, that doesn't mean they don't care about it. They just care about it at a seven or an eight. That's still a high number. It's not like they care about it at a two. And so I think that that's in a you know pluralistic and liberal and diverse society, that's what we're going to have. And we need to be able to find ways to, you know, respect that and engage with that and, you know, and, and navigate and manage that. So it's, it's kind of my end point. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was so insightful. And I hate to be cliche, but it was a really great conversation. I was learning so much. I was taking notes on things I've never heard before. And it's funny enough, it's probably because the things I've never heard before is because on social media or in these public debates, it's often non-Latino or Latinx people talk about this and using these words as like a political tool. So hearing you two talk about it at a historical um, place and a place where it's your heritage was very insightful. And... I just want to ask a couple questions because I know that was a lot, but how do you feel now that this process is over? You can talk about 
maybe just how you feel about this conversation or the whole holistic process. You can go wherever you want with it. Please, come in. Uh, I feel like I want to write another two essays. <laughs> um, I I feel like I agree with Xavier in so many things. Uh, um, I think that um, I disagree in, 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 in so many others. Uh, I think that a lot of points that he makes are true, yet not ideal. Um, I... Um, I, uh, I, 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 of course, I have more to say, and um, and I think I, I also want feedback, absolutely, from both of you. Uh, and I think it went really quickly, and I think it was, you know, uh, different arguments all throughout, and um, just a very enriched uh, conversation. And I don't know. I personally love to disagree. I think that's way more reaching than agreeing all the time or that being, uh, you know, um, someone who, who, who does not express, uh, an opinion just to keep things, just to not rock the boat, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, I think mm -hmm. this, um, I think I want to be part in more conversations like this. It's all, it's, mm -hmm. it's all that I feel. Yeah. I mean, you know, you're, uh, you know, such a, a captivating, you know, person when you speak and I, I hear all of your passion and I hear all of your, um, you know, things that you, you want very badly to, to, to try and create good social change. And um, I greatly admire and respect that. Um, and I, I don't disagree with you on a lot of things. I think I've sort of kind of figured out where we were. Um, I think where our major disagreements are but I think it's more of um, more of, of the kinds of uh, lens that we're seeing it, right? And um, I think that that's that's fine. That's something that is very uh, it's good. It challenges me. It pushes my ideas. It helps me to think about them in different ways. And and of course, I always want feedback about how uh, I conduct myself, how I express my ideas. Um, but, um, very rewarding, uh, you know, uh, you, I, again, uh, we agree on many things, disagree on a few things, but at the end of the day, um, you know, I find the, the conversation very enriching, uh, we were both very respectful and I would absolutely, uh, talk with you about this or anything else, any time or, or any place. Because uh, I think it's it's really really helpful, so I I, I really feel nourished and enriched by it.